This is Tommy Oliver Stadium at Bay High School where they're setting up for Pray for Bay. It's an event for community members to come together and for organizations to provide outreach. Rebuild Bay County is made up of over 70 organizations, including Habitat for Humanity and Doorways of Northwest Florida. Doorway Site Administrator Joe Schaefer says they hope the event reminds everyone they are not forgotten. It does give them a sense of community and that we're still all here and we're all in this together. It's half a year later and the city is still struggling. Hurricane debris needs to be removed. Residents are trying to find housing and FEMA says it's going to take five to seven years before everything gets back to normal. That's what FEMA does. FEMA is a basic support program to get people back on the road to recovery. Bay County Commissioner Griff Griffith says he hopes Pray for Bay will lift their spirits. Uh, it's a uh purgatory, you know, somewhere between heaven and hell, I guess. It's, uh, we are, we're fighting every day. This county lost 10% of their population, but they lost so much more than that. The estimated damage assessment, the money the county will use to clean up the area, will take over $661 million. That's more than double their budget. This will go towards debris removal, protective measures, and other reparations. While I say, um, I'm proud of the effort we made. I know we got a long way to go. Griffith says they have already borrowed 251 million. This money is spent by local governments and then reimbursed by FEMA later. Tessa Bentulin, WUFT News.